y'all welcome back to my channel functional beauty with alicia larie if you don't already know i'm alicia and i'm a blogger over at alicialarie.com i do all kinds of home decor home organization over there i'm also a mother to three kids two dogs and a whole lot of plants so if you like content like home decor home organization and cleaning motivation make sure that you hit the subscribe button and stick around you can also follow me on Instagram at alicia.larie. I'm trying to build my community over there as well. So today we're doing something a little bit different. I am cleaning my upstairs loft area, but I'm also decorating for my son's birthday party. He's turning 13 on Halloween. Technically Halloween's over by the time I post this. And so he's having a bunch of his friends over for a sleepover. So I'm going to be transforming this loft into a Halloween themed uh, scary movie birthday party. So you can see how I put a party together and how I do all of my decorations. This could easily be a birthday party theme or even just a Halloween party and it was so much fun to put together. I had so much fun doing all of the decorations so let's do this. First things first, I have to clean the space. This is, like I said, my loft, so this is my children's space. It's mainly my youngest son who is six, his space. So as you can see, he's very, very messy and um, there is a ton of space underneath our couch and underneath our coffee table. So things get shoved underneath them and, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So I moved all of this stuff and made sure that I cleaned all of this up. You will see me kind of, well, here you go. You can see right here, I'm going to move this couch and what the heck, you guys, my children are filthy little creatures. So uh, I feel like I've got to do this probably more often than I have, but here we go. So there's just a ton of random stuff and none of it really makes any sense. So I just go through all of it and start putting things in piles and throwing away the trash. Just throwing away the trash makes a pile like this feel so much better. So I start with throwing away the trash and then kind of separating out all of the toys into different piles. You can see me throwing stuff that's mostly clothes that I'm throwing into a clothes pile. So I just separate out everything first and then I go through all of the piles and put the piles away. I just find that that's the easiest, most efficient way to deal with a mess like this. The worst thing that I've done for this space for my kids up here in the loft is to put pillows with feathers. I had just a couple that were made out of feathers and they literally somehow just got everywhere. This is what I am kind of trying to gather up off the floor underneath this couch. There's just tons of feathers. So I took those out, but uh, learn from my mistakes and do not ever get a feather pillow for children. Back to the sorting the toys when you're cleaning. Um, I think it's a really good way to uh, help the kids clean and learn how to organize. You can show them that you're putting certain types of toys together in piles and then they can take each pile and put them away in the right spot. I actually didn't have them do this with me this time because they were at school when I was cleaning this, but uh, normally I would put them in piles and then have Caden help me put those piles away. So that's a really good way to help teach children how to like separate out their toys and organize them and put them in the right spots.
This is another thing I like to do while I'm cleaning, especially a space like this where there's lots of different furniture pieces and things that are kind of in the way when you're vacuuming, when everything's set up the right way. So when I'm cleaning a spot, but I know I'm going to put stuff back there, furniture or uh, lamps or just anything, I like to vacuum in that space first before I put the things back and then I'll put the things back and then after I'm done cleaning the entire space, then I'll do a full vacuum of all of the other spaces. This helps um, get in those spaces that you don't normally vacuum very often. So now that we have this corner nice and clean, I'm going to start making my Michael Myers. So my son is actually Michael Myers for Halloween. So I'm going to try to figure out how to stuff his <laughs> jumpsuit and put his mask up on top of it to make it look like Michael Myers is standing in the corner. And it was a lot of trial and error. I used my lamp and then a broom for the other leg and then I used a hanger to kind of hang the shoulders and then I stuffed it with stuffed animals and I actually ended up taking out some of the stuffed animals and putting little baby blankets in there instead and I think that worked out better. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a trial and error but I love the way he turned out. So when decorating for a party, I would suggest starting with the biggest piece um, or the thing that you want to kind of decorate around. So that's why I started with Michael in the corner. I knew that I wanted him there, but I didn't really know where I wanted everything else. So I started with him and then kind of built around. I love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. So here are all of my party decorations that I'm working with. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to put on the walls and um, we're going to start with these big doors. So there's three panels of doors and I decided to stick them behind the couch just because this wall was the only one that wasn't going to have a TV on it. And so I thought you'd be able to see them better behind the couch. So I just started by putting one panel up and then kind of loosely put all three of them up to see if they were centered on the wall and they weren't quite centered so I moved them over just a little bit. That's how I hang everything. I don't measure or do anything like that. I literally just loosely hang stuff and then step back and look at it and adjust and then fully tape or connect everything down to the wall.
at your place Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Got in your freckles Close to the west coast How about that? Why don't we just get a place together? Mornings in our own bed So much better Balconies and bathtubs What you want? So next up we have this like giant size it clown and uh, I was a little bit disappointed by this guy just because it was a little bit hard to see him sometimes just the reflection of the windows and stuff like that but he was pretty creepy at night I think when there wasn't the reflection so uh, it turned out okay. Next, I decided to hang the happy birthday sign above uh, one of the TVs. And at first I accidentally put the birthday up at the top and I was like, that's not right. Um, but I do the same thing for hanging birthday signs. I literally just guess. And then if I have to adjust it, I will. And then I will fully make sure it's secured to the wall. So uh, I do that for absolutely everything. I just loosely secure things step back and look at it and adjust as needed. Now we need to go over to this area. This is kind of the, I guess, hallway right before our loft. And I threw a bunch of stuff over here when I was cleaning out the loft. So we're just going to put all of this stuff away and uh, deal with this laundry pile. I have a lot of laundry I've been doing because I went through all of my kids' clothes and organized them and got rid of a bunch of stuff and just decided to wash all of their clothes because my children like to put clean clothes with their dirty clothes and dirty clothes with the clean clothes and all that fun stuff. So I decided just to do all of the laundry so I've had a ton. So I'm just kind of sorting through all of this and putting a load of laundry in while I decorate the rest of the loft. So we decided to bring our TV stand and TV from our bedroom into the loft and let the boys have two TVs to play Xbox on. Like I said, my son was inviting a bunch of his friends over for a sleepover so we wanted to keep them entertained because they are teenage boys and they had a lot of fun with these so I definitely recommend doing some sort of video games for kids if you have a sleepover especially for boys because they are rowdy and this kind of kept them contained and somewhat they were still pretty loud but you know they were entertained and they were having fun. So back over here to this wall, this is where I'm going to put all of their snacks so that they can have some snacks while they're playing video games or watching movies. 
um, and this cheesecloth actually I really wanted to hang on the ceiling in the loft but it just wasn't enough to be able to do it so I just decided to hang it over here and it was a little long so and it only had one panel so I cut off the bottom of this just to kind of fit right about the table love about party decorating is just being in the moment and realizing hey I can do this here and kind of just coming up with stuff on the fly so since I cut that other side if you saw on the left side of the cheese the black cheesecloth I cut a little bit off on that side so I have some of that fabric and I decided to put them on the TVs so I actually had a little bit of extra from this uh, tablecloth that I put on here and decided to cut a little bit off of that as well to put on the other TV. And I think that helped really um, kind of tie everything together. Now that I have all the main decorations up, I'm going to vacuum the whole loft and then we're going to put some finishing touches on the decorations. One of the last things I wanted to do is put these smart colored light bulbs in and my husband and I have these in our downstairs in our game room and we love them 
you can basically change them to any color so these are super fun to have for this party and just in our loft in general so uh, we decided to go with red and i think this was just the perfect little detail so with that we are finished this is the final look of the loft i love how it turned out and it really looked a lot cooler at night so i am super happy with it the boys enjoyed it and i hope you guys did too You guys will have to let me know what your favorite part of the decorations were but before I let you go I wanted to share the cupcakes and the cake that I made these were super fun to make and my son really loved them remember if you ever want to follow me on social media it's always at Alicia Larie. I'm working on my new Instagram and it's actually alicia.larie for now but it will be turning back to Alicia Larie soon see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.